What up guys and welcome back to another reaction. Hope you're having a great day. Like, comment, no, it's not. Discord link in the description below. Okay. So, today we're going to react to a video called Why Does Everyone Love One Piece Now? Yes, I am wearing a One Piece shirt. Yes, it is not in the correct form. Because, you know, I'm trying to show it off. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I am a big One Piece fan. But, you know, out of nowhere... Why does everyone love it now? The video is by Dax Sax or Sakes. I'll link it in the description if I don't forget. Let's see. Unless you've been stuck in Impel Down for the last few years, then you probably noticed that One Piece has kind of exploded in popularity. Yeah, we're yes, part of that is that manga sales are up and interest on the internet is at an all-time high. But we even have big names publicly supporting the series now, like Dua Lipa, Zion Wood. I don't know who she is. Like, I heard her name. I think she does music. What? I did not know she was a. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to start listening to some of your stuff. The series bro. now, like Dua Lipa, Zion Williamson, okay, Jamie Lee Zion, Curtis, yeah. and many, many others. Oh, really? And not to mention, it's getting a live action with the budget of Game of Thrones that releases sometime later this year. Uh -huh, and they've work. even released their own trading card game. Work. But the question is, why is One Piece getting all this hype in the first place? And just how big is this thing going to get? It's a peak and I of think fiction, that discussion bro. has to start with the about. community that One Piece already has. I might be biased, but I think the One Piece community is really like none other. I mean, yes, it's the best-selling manga of all time, yeah, and the <laughs> second best-selling comic by a single author, but even right here on YouTube, we just completed the 11th annual Reverie with Where? literally dozens of different creators. There are only so many stories that even last that long, let alone nah, for real, enough man. content to have this many creators doing so well. I mean, One Piece like, started like you don't understand bro how much i love one piece. like i know i'd be like bro it's even in my profile picture in my youtube channel uh the banner too i'm literally i literally have i'm wearing shirts like like come on bro like i i'm like i'm a big one piece fan bro like I'm t like people might be like, yo, yo, it's too long. No, it's not too long, bro. You just all the way back don't in got the, the middle of span. 1997. And despite almost 30 years of consistent weekly chapter releases, we've still barely solved any of the biggest mysteries in the story. And if anything, Oda just gives us more questions than answers yeah, almost for real. every single week. Oh, but tough. that's kind of the beauty of One Piece, and at least part of why it's continued to build such a massive. Y'all can't wait until Gear Five is animated. Don't know exactly <laughs> when it's going to end, we know that we're approaching its final saga. And when any story starts to reach its end, that always gives it a boost in popularity. I mean, think about what it was like during the final season of Game of Thrones. Oh man, when it, I'm sorry if I'm pausing it, but like, bro, when this, when One Piece ends, I think it's literally going to break the internet. Like, it's gonna be like none other. Like, never again like this. Like, I could, I could see it, but I don't want to see it, but I could see it how it could be if we do live long enough. Because I don't know when Oda's gonna decide to be like, all right. Let me finish it up. Thrones, or how the sales exploded for Demon Slayer when it ended, or even in the realm of sports where the single most watched program of the year every year is always the Super Bowl. It's just mm -hmm. that natural desire for people to see how things end, and with One Piece inching closer and closer to that every week, the hype is only going to continue to build. Brooke. And I think another reason why this is going to be a big deal is because of the growing interest in manga and anime in general, and how Brooke. new people are starting to give it a try every single day. I mean, Zion went as far to say that about 80% of NBA players are already in the anime. Really? Dang, I didn't know that. Okay. But they just won't admit it. And look, I can kind of get that. Everyone that loves anime has probably been called a <laughs> nah. weeb at some point in time. I mean, I remember getting called a weeb when I pulled into Valvoline one time because of my car's straw hat decal. But I think as celebrities continue to come out and support Travis Scott, I'll anime call, look, and leaving Travis Scott, you, you want to drive your topia? Stop. But Okay. keeps getting the marketing love that it's gotten lately here in the US, then it's naturally going to lead to more and more people to the biggest one being One Piece. And when you couple that with the fact that this long journey is finally approaching the final saga, then who knows how big the community could be by the end. I mean, oh, I talked man. about Zion earlier, but Rudy Gobert, who is another prominent NBA player. Really? Really? 
Damn, One Piece really like that. I'm telling you, no, like no other, bro. One Piece shoes during a game before. And despite his struggles so far this season, Rudy isn't he some scrub. Like a He's a three-time <laughs> defensive player of the year. And if you know anything about NBA players, they're really picky about their shoes. So it means a lot that he would wear those during a game. And it's not just basketball because we even saw a straw hat flag during the World Cup in several oh, yeah, One Piece poses that. during the Olympics. And switching sports over to football, which is the most popular sport here in the U.S., we even had the One USC piece. marching band play an entire halftime show devoted to One Piece film Red during their home opener. And if you don't know, USC is one of the biggest football programs in the entire... Oh, uh, really? It is? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, the movie was pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The music, though, I, I be listening to it sometimes. Your yeah. country. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that were exposed to One Piece who probably never heard of it that day. Nope. And in the NFL, we've seen Jamal Williams running back for the Detroit Lions wear a custom One Piece thigh pad during it. Really? Game. And he also loves Pokemon, if you haven't. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I do know him. Yeah, I know he likes uh, anime. He a big anime fan. I do, I do, I do know. He was with the Packers, but I wish he would have stayed. Go home and play Pokemon. We yeah. And you know that the series has to mean a lot to these people for them to go out of their way to rep it like that in public. And that's what's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'd be the community for One you. Piece is really just so strong. And when you meet a One Piece fan in public, it's like the ultimate icebreaker. Like it's a friend from high school or something. But real, instead man. of talking about your jobs and families, you ask about the ancient weapons and, you know, robots with nipple lights. But one of the most <laughs> common barriers to getting new people into One Piece is the length. And with at least 1,071 chapters and a thousand 1047 episodes adapted right and now. counting, I can kind of understand why it feels daunting to people. But that's just another reason why all of this public support, either from athletes and celebrities or just us current One Piece fans, Work. can go such a long way. As well as all the various ways that now exist to digest One Piece. And my favorite way is what's- I ain't gonna lie, bro. The, 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 the actor for the, 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 for the live action, she kind of- she, she look she, she look good not you know what I'm saying I'm just saying bro like I would you know be like what's up let's talk and my favorite way is what's called one pace and in case you haven't heard of it the amazing team at onepace.net has basically cut down all the filler and made the anime more true to the manga and it actually oh, cuts where? your entire watch time almost down by half which is pretty crazy so i definitely recommend where? that as a way to make the journey feel less daunting to new viewers and not to mention the dubbed version of the anime is finally in wano after years and years really? of being hundreds of episodes behind which to me is a sign in and of itself that they expect some serious growth in English-speaking countries sooner rather than later. But another way to watch One Piece is coming later this yeah, year, and that would bad, be the live action series on Netflix. Now, while we can all recognize that there have been some misses when it comes to live action anime, and misses on Netflix and- I kind of low-key feel like it's not going to be that bad. That's, that's what I'm feeling, the live action. I low-key kind of feel like it's not going to be bad. But it's going to be hard to try to adapt, like, in general, I can confidently say that if we were to ever have a good One Piece live action series, then the team and the investments behind it would look like the ones that are behind this series. Everything from that? the showrunners, the casting, the set pieces, and just the general fact that it has a similar budget to Game of Thrones all tell me that they have their heads in the right place and that they're up to the challenge. Okay. I mean, Matt Owens, co-showrunner and executive producer of the show, is a huge fan of the series, and he even joined us on The Reverie just a few days ago, and it isn't yeah, the first he dressed as Sabo. And he gave That's us a crazy. little bit of info about the live action too, so I'll leave a link to the whole VOD on Randy Troy's channel down All below right, and cool. a summary video of his comments from Desna's The Dwarf. So with that being said, this provides another avenue to get more people into the story. I mean, Netflix still has over 200 million subscribers around the world, and I imagine that there's a lot of people who are- <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna be watching on Netflix. I ain't gonna, you know, say where I'd be watching it, but like- willing to give the new big live action show a try then what they may see is just a 30 year old cartoon series i mean i know my mom is in that boat for sure and who knows once they get to the end of the first season new viewers may want to pick up the anime or check out the manga to see how the rest of things unfold Damn, I gotta or get the if manga. not that's I, totally uh, fine uh, because I what's even... important is that one piece like is finding 10, new ways to reach new audiences and that's only going to help it grow even more but really the catalyst for all the hype is the story itself the meat and potatoes if you will and that's where One Piece really excels the most, in my yeah, opinion. Word. And 2023 in particular could be a massive year for the story. I mean, the anime is only a few months from animating probably one of the biggest scenes in the entire <laughs> Yeah, we are ready for it. We are ready for it, bro. I'm sorry that I'm acting like this, bro, but you just don't understand, bro. 
bro, I'm so high. Oh Dory. man, and I the got chills, bro. Has been subjectively and probably objectively fire over the last few months. For, I gotta read the last two chapters. Far, I'm to tell us that we should expect a free for all battle royale coming up soon. I mean, One Piece was already doing really well, but this might just be its biggest year yet, and that will only lead to a feedback effect where big events keep happening. Then more people try to get their friends into the series, more big <laughs> names come out to support the series in public, then more big events happen in the manga, etc. And by the time we get to the very, very end, I think the community will be bigger than just about anyone expects. And while it may not be <laughs> everyone's favorite series, it is a series that has something for everyone. Whether it's the lessons about found family, about freedom, or about anything in between, there are just so many lessons to learn from One Piece, and bro, that's I got why chills, it bro. so many people towards it. And that's what led celebrities like hey, yo, do a Yo, well, hold on. I'm not I did not know that. Like, I've seen her. I mean, she's gonna look good. Hold on. Okay, I'll do that after. Series in public. And probably why many of you that, clicked bro. on this I'm video to... today. It truly is bigger than another manga or anime to most of its fans because of what it means to people. And despite my own fanboyism, I think it's fair to say the end of a story like One Piece is a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, how many times Word. will we get to see a global community celebrate one single story that has stretched across almost 30 years of time? One that has made this series the best selling manga of all time. Bro, that's like there almost are a lot of things life. we all want to see by the end of the series, what most of us have been waiting for is the the same goal that was set up in chapter one and that is luffy's goal to become the king of the pirates and having the opportunity to celebrate Yo. that moment with you guys is the biggest reason i became a creator in the first place and i can't wait to see it all happen like and subscribe yeah go 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 check out his videos bro you know, subscribe to him if you i don't know i might see more videos yeah but yeah his name was dak sakes or sax um, i know i could click out and see but i'm gonna keep it like this okay so yeah why does everyone love peace love one piece and he kind of explained why you know yeah you know it's just you know we're getting close not really close to the end but like we're like on the final stages and, and it's getting high bro i, I don't know it's got, i gotta make sure y'all 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 see the shirt bro i'm i'm not messing around okay i i hope you enjoyed today's video Reactions, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't be uploading too much on a reaction channel, but I do got a gaming channel below, so I'd be a little bit more active over there. I try to be active here and stuff, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Yeah.